Well, you did it. You made it to the last video for chapter four. This is the third of three videos for section 4.5. And as you know by now, I'm George. This example is a little bit different than the previous two, the solving the exponential equation, solving the log equation, but it still falls into this category. So the example is as follows. e to the 2x minus e to the x minus 6 equals 0. So it's almost like a quadratic. It kind of looks like it. It's got three terms. It's set equal to 0. So when we had those situations, what did we do? We factored it. We, you tried to use zero property rule. Well, we tried to factor it, and if it did, then we used zero property rule. This one might look a little bit difficult to do because we have our exponential, the e. So I'm going to write this a little bit different. e to the 2x is the same as e to the x squared, right? Because with our exponential rules, those multiply each other. So now what do we have? e to the x squared minus e to the x minus 6. So if you want to use substitution in this, we're going to say let, we'll call it x equal this function e to the x. So anywhere I have an e to the x, plug in an x instead. So I get what? I get x squared minus e to the x, which is just x, minus 6 equals 0. Now this one you might be able to factor a little easier. This one factors into what? This factors into x and x minus 3 plus 2. So now I need to plug back in my substitution because I'm not trying to solve for x, I'm trying to get e to the x. So that means e to the x minus 3 by zero property rule is equal to zero and e to the x plus 2 is equal to 0. So let's solve each of these separately. Well this, if I move 3 over, I get e to the x equals positive 3. So how do I get rid of that e? Well now I have the exponential isolated, so I can take natural log of both sides, bring the exponent down, the x, so I get natural, x times natural log of e is natural log of 3. We know natural log of e is 1, so that just means from this piece, x is equal to the natural log of 3. <coughs> Excuse me. How about this one? Well, if I subtract 2, I get e to the x equals negative 2. So now, let's think about what does our exponential graph look like? It looks like this, right? Our exponential graph never has a negative value. It never goes below the x-axis. So I cannot pick any value for x that's going to give me a negative number. Even if you wanted to solve it the same way as here, what would you get? You'd get x is equal to the natural log of negative 2. If you plug that in on your calculator, it's going to tell you error which means this one doesn't give us any solution. So our only answer for this equation would be x is equal to the natural log of 3. So that's it. Like I said, it's a quick video. I just wanted to sort of give you that setup. If it looks like that, how do you solve it? You're still going to solve it the way you're used to. Try to factor it. Try to use zero property rule and see what values it gives you. So come on back, we're actually going to jump out to chapter 10 uh, and then continue on with the uh, rest of the cur curriculum.